Okay, so today what I'm going to do is something I've never done before, so I'm really excited about it and a little nervous, even though I think it's going to be easier than my brain is telling me. So the electrical for the towing did not quite work that well when we actually towed this camper to the house. So I just went ahead and cut it all out along with everything else electrical. So I'm going to rehook up this four plug towing connector and um, hopefully by the time I'm done it works. So, and the reason I went with the four is which my truck has the four and the seven, but there's no need for a seven because this thing doesn't have brakes on it. So the four would be a lot easier for me to do. So that's, that's the way I went was with the four. So. I've got everything. I've got this new connector, got my wire. So, um, and a bunch of other things in here to make it uh, hopefully seamless. First, I've got to get rid of this. Um, I think this is the only thing that's left that I haven't cut. I've cut everything from inside, so I'm going to replace this. Well, I just had myself my first bummer moment. As I was trying to feed that cable, that wire back through the uh, trailer hitch, it's actually a seven gauge wire. I mean a seven pin wire that somebody had cut and converted it over to four. So upon further inspection, this camper does have brakes. So uh, what I'm gonna do is change that four into a seven just to be safe um, and make it easier for towing so the brakes actually work. And then I'm going to go ahead and just run my side lights, my blinkers, and my tail lights because I, I've got the wiring for that and then I can run my ground and run it all through and get it ready and then I'll have to go back to the hardware store and buy some more wire so that I can hook up the brakes and everything else and get a seven pin connector so I'm not gonna be able to finish today but at least I can get most of it done and that's what I hope to obtain before it starts raining all right Here's my ground wire. Um, I was gonna use this to run um, my side lights and my blinkers. And then this is for my tail lights. And you may be wondering why First of all, I'd only have three wires if I was planning on wiring up a four pin. Well, it's because I doubled one of them. My local hardware store did not have the colors needed, um, which didn't matter as long as I remembered what goes what. I'm gonna label them with a piece of tape, but this was my ground. And then like my green and yellow was one and then my brown. So I guess black and brown as both star would be but first one i'm gonna do is i don't have a fishing tape but that's okay um i'm just gonna stick all three of these together um and then tape them and then push them up the uh the beam right here so i can go back to the trailer hitch and at least have them exposed out there and then i'll finish running everything which i don't have much there's only one, two, four side lights, I think, and then my two tail lights. So it should be pretty quick. And uh, I've got to replace the lights anyways, so I'm not going to hook those up quite yet. I'll just have it ready for when we do purchase the lights that it'll, it'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, it's giving me resistance right off the bat. Well, what I may end up having to do is go get my hanger and fish it through there, attach it, and then pull it from the other side. There we go. 
Now we're getting somewhere. Voila. There's a little bit of resistance when I first started pushing it in there, probably because there was, I don't know, my guess, dirt dauber nest in there. But anyways, I got that cleaned out and got it pulled all the way through. The white wire obviously will work as my ground, so I'll get it screwed into the um, frame here. I'll do that in just a moment, but I am going to go ahead and run my side lights uh, and then to my tail lights and then i will run the blinkers to the left and the right um yes so i get those ready get those taped up and then later on when i buy the other wire for the other three mainly the brakes I will, uh, I'll finish it up and put the seven pin on there, but at least I can get a jump start today. Oh, I was really hoping to finish this all today, but looks like it'll be a two day project. Okay. Well, actually I was confused. The red wire is the wire that I have for my side lights and my tail lights. The black wire I had, um, that was going to run to my left blinker and my right blinker. So let's start with the blinkers since I've already got the black in hand. And what I'm going to do is just run it down through the frame all the way to the end. And then I'll have to cut it and then beat it back through um, to the trailer hitch and then do it again for the other blinker. No big deal. No big deal. I knew what I was getting into. I just got confused on which which color. Why? That's that's why it's ideal to get the colored wire, the right color, so that you don't forget. But like I said, the hardware store did not have. They only had three color choices, four color choices. No, I think it was three. And yeah, because that's what I got. It was three, and so that's that's what I got. So you can see that's that's where the wire comes from the trailer hitch in and then if you can see that little grommet right there or whatever you want to call it rubber washer um, that's where I'm going to feed the wire through and it's going to follow that all the way to the back end of the of the camper and then I'll hook it up to the um, to the light the tail light and again these are my blinkers my left and right blinkers here we go Now that I've got the wire at the end of the uh, camper, I've got to go through that hole right there and then it'll lead outside so I can hook it up to my right blinker. Yes, I'm gonna hook this one up to my right blinker. Okay, correction. I did not have to put this outside even though I did have to go through the bottom here and then up right through here and then there's my tail light. So I'm gonna leave Plenty enough slack to where I can hook up this tail light whenever I get it replaced. But there's the amount of wires that came out of this sucker, which is absolutely bonkers to me. But yeah, I will. Now that I've got both tail light wires. Well, those are the blinkers, I'm sorry. The blinker, left and right blinker wires. Now I'm fixing to install the tail light to both my tail lights, and this is also going to work as my side lights. And what I mean by side lights is these lights like that. So it'll power my brake lights and those lights there. So what I'm going to do is run it to about right here in front of me, about right there. And then I'll use a butt connector and run it up to that side light 
and then there's a satellite directly on the other side behind me. So it'll basically come and then it'll tee off in both directions and then it'll keep going that way. Um, it'll keep going that way there all the way up through that. Follow the same line as my other two wires and then I will split it and it'll go to the left light and it'll go to the right light and then I've got two more side lights back there as well and that'll be all of that one. Okay so these are my butt connectors that I'll use. One wire goes in and then I'll probably have to splice like two wires out but, but you get the point. That's what I'm using. My next step is I'm going to splice that red wire and have it go off two different ways and then come back to right here so that it'll continue to go back. I hope through. I think this would be plenty enough. So I finished hooking up the first two side lights. And I don't really know if I did this like the way that most people would do this, but I ran the wire up, use that butt connection right there, and then it's gonna come back down and then it goes to the other side. And I did the same thing, and it's gonna go back through here, all the way back. And then I'll start splitting things back there. Whew. All I know is, it is hot. So hot. But these wires here, like these loose ones here, I'm just using those to run from the connector there to the new lights whenever I get them. So I just cut off enough to make it work. And then I've got some things to secure these, but for right now I just put some tape. And I'll probably still use tape, but I've got some uh, zip tie connectors to make sure those things stay in place in the wall. And you can see I've got them on both sides. So now it's time for me to head on back to the back end and get working on this side. Well, so far I've got the two side lights near the front of the, the camper and I've got the two tail lights. <sighs> Which leaves me with the two rear side lights. Um, Which I should have enough wire to finish it all. If not, I've got to go back already to get some more for the other stuff, for the brakes. But, uh, tedious, that's all I've got to say. It's not been that hard yet, but I'm also nowhere near done. Okay, so I think I'm done wiring what I can wire, which is just the side lights and the rear lights with the blinkers. Tomorrow I will go to the store, I'll get some more wire, that way I can hook up the brakes and the other pins for the seven pin instead of the four pin. But Good grief, I hope I did this right. I watched a YouTube video, looked at a diagram, it looked like I could do it. I think I did it right. I probably did it a little bit differently than what probably should have been done, but it'll still work and it'll be safe. Now I do have some heat shrink. As soon as I finish up connecting everything into the butt connectors, I'm gonna put some heat shrink on there, seal it tight. That way it doesn't go anywhere. And then uh, make sure that I go back and put the little zip tie fasteners so that the wiring doesn't move uh, much at all while we're traveling. And I also did not pull the electrical tight for that simple fact that movement, and I don't want it to pull and pull something loose. So I'm done for today and I'll pick back up again tomorrow. Well guys, it's been a couple of days since I've started on this wiring project. Um, I finally was able to return that four pin connector and got the seven blade, which is exactly what I needed. Really all I care to get done today is to get this hooked up and the wiring inside ready to go for when I replace the side lights and the tail lights. Okay, well, <laughs> I think I just did every bit of that work and recorded it with no microphone. Um, I had taken the microphone off, whatever. But I can give you a recap, basically, of what, what I did. So I had to trade in the four pin one uh, trailer hitch 
for a um, seven blade wood, which is the round one, because this camper has brakes. And I finally um, went to the uh, automotive place today and got it. So I went ahead and ran my other three wires that I have not ran already, which is the brake, the one for the brakes, and then there's an auxiliary, and then there's a backup, which I don't think I'll be using either one of those two. But um, I went ahead and got the brake one ran, and then I taped them all together, all three of the extra wires, and fed them through the um, trailer. And then uh, I went ahead and took the ground wire and went ahead and put a fitting on the end of it and screwed it into the frame. So I can go ahead and have that grounded. And then I started working on the seven pin or the seven blade hookup, getting that installed, um, which I'd never done anything like this before. Um, it didn't seem like it was hard. Really the hardest part would be, since I did not have all the correct color coded wiring, trying to remember what wire was what, but I had them in sections the four that I'd already pushed through and then the three. So that made it a little bit easier. The only thing that was tricky was my left and right turn. I wasn't thinking smart enough to do those two different colors. So the left turn and the right turn are both black wires and I may have them switched up, but that's no, pr that's no problem. If it do, I can easily just un unhook them and change them to the other one. So. so I went ahead and got started after finding the right screwdriver and finding out what set screw to unhook from the little wiring harness. I started in with hooking this up. So I fed them all through the end and right through the outside part to where I could get to these screws. And the cool thing about each one of these screws is they're labeled what is what. And I didn't understand the codes for it. So I had to use my instructions and they've got each marked what each lettering is so like LT was left turn that's pretty simple RT right turn BU back up GD ground wire stuff so I started with the ground and then started making my way over um, yeah it was pretty simple it was not hard to do I just had to strip each wire obviously and then slide it into the uh, into the set screw or the screw and then clamp it down now that was basically all I had to do. And then once I got it all in there and tightened, I slid it back in and then tightened up my set screw, which is right here on the top here, and uh, went from there. So that was it for now. Well, guys, it's been uh, a few days since I last worked on this electrical because I had to order some stuff. We wanted to change out all of the lights from the old bulb lights to LEDs so I ordered these this is one one kit here um, LED like indicator lights the side lights and then the blinker and rear lights which I haven't even opened these out of the package yet um, the LED here so a lot brighter a lot better and people will definitely be able to see you on the road with these things so I've already pulled all of the old housing down so now it's time to I guess start putting these things on there and fingers crossed that it works okay so right off the bat first thing I noticed when I was taking this down was these are not the same size as what this was so I'm gonna have to go over some areas like these two spots here and spackle those in and get those sealed up but uh, it was really hard trying to find the right size light but anyways it'll basically go on like so like that there um, once I get it in there so you can see not quite the same width as the other one but uh, I think it's gonna look nice when it's all said and done anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with these and go ahead and get these screwed in. And then I'll push this through, clamp it, and get it wired on the inside. And hopefully this won't be that bad. 
The only thing I don't like is this is plastic. I thought this was metal, but I guess I should have read the description, but that's okay. It'll all work the same. Run these two wires through. Probably should have done the wires first. That's okay. Clamp. There's two clips. Got that one in. Like that. There we go. One down, three more to go. Okay, now that I've got all four of the side indicator lights done, it's time to hook up the new brake lights. Seems pretty easy, probably a little bit easier than uh, the side lights, so it shouldn't take long for me to get these installed. probably can't see it but it says top right here and I thought maybe that I had it installed upside down but it says top there as well so all's well just good and tight don't want to over tighten this for sure all right Okay, now that I've got all the lights hooked up to the trailer, I've got my truck backed up to it, and it's time to test it out and see if I've got it hooked up correctly. Well, as you can tell, everything works fine. I was most concerned about the wiring for the blinkers because once I started wiring everything, I got confused of which one was the left and which one was the right. But if I had them like incorrectly installed, it would have been nothing to just take them and swap them or just swap them right here at the, uh, at the trailer hitch. But anyways, everything's okay. You can see the left blinker worked, the right blinker worked, the hazards and the side lights all worked fine. Now there are a few things that I need to do inside the camper, um, mainly just heat shrink the butt connectors for each, all the wiring so that they don't pull loose and tape everything up and just make sure everything's nice and, and secure so that once we put the flooring and the walls in, I'll never have to rip it up to, to try to fix it. So pretty happy, but hey, that's it for the wiring. I know it's not the most professional job or conventional way of doing it, but I've never done anything like this. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm happy. That's one of the wiring steps gone. Now it's time to tackle some bigger projects. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.